Hey y'all, it's Kristen and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. And today, you can tell by the title, we are going to be testing out a new foundation. This foundation I found at my local Walmart at $3. It is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup Oil Free Foundation. And I bought two in two different shades this one is espresso and this one is cocoa bean these are the two darkest shades um i looked online and black radiance only has 12 shades listed for the whole line which is kind of like i'm i'm kind of side eye and black radiance but it is three dollars it is drugstore it's very affordable and i'm going to shade match these and we're going to see which one works overall and whichever one works i'm going to use my regular products but i'm going to do one side with a brush and one side with a makeup sponge just to see how it plays out so let's get into it all right so we're going to get started with our swatching and i swatch to the perimeter of my face because if it doesn't really match in the middle, you always use concealer to lighten it up. So it doesn't really matter to me how it looks in the middle of my face. I just wanna make sure that I do not have a mask on. And see how this looks. So this is espresso. Try to get a little bit more close up and I'll try to blend it out with my finger. This is a very, very watery, consistency it feels very liquid on my face and this the undertone is a little pink neutral which is a plus for um for drugstore foundations because usually you're looking casket red our next shade is cocoa bean i'm gonna try it on this side excuse these two um visitors they just decided to pop up not pay no rent no taxes so just just excuse them so this is cocoa bean this one i'm gonna look in my mirror to see what the true color looks like This one is better. The coverage does seem pretty good. I have a little bit of scar and hyperpigmentation where I put the um, foundation at and it covered it right up. Now we're going to go ahead and test the foundation out. I'm going to be using the shade Espresso and on this side, my left side, I'm going to be using a Sephora brush. This is the Pro Buffing Brush number 70. And on the right side of my face, I'm going to be using a Real Techniques makeup sponge. So we're just going to test it out and see if the foundation plays differently um, with different application techniques. But I will be applying the same primer on both sides. I'm going to be using the Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer. This is one of my favorites at the moment. Just to give it something to stick to. And let me see if this said anything about controlling oil. Let's see. Espresso Color Perfect Liquid Makeup applies smoothly and enhances the natural undertones of the skin. Perfect color, perfect blend, ideal for all skin types. That's cool. Um, so it doesn't say anything about being matte or being dewy. It says it's good for any skin type. So if your combination, if you are if you are dry or if you are oily, they claim that this will work for you. So since it doesn't say anything about oil, I'm going to take the Sephora Mattifying Primer and I'm going to put that where I get oily, which is right down the center of my face and my T-zone. I'm going to use the applicator to place it on my face first. Then I'm going to use um, my tools to blend it out. So we're just going to do a little bit. I want to put some. So as you see, I did not dip back into um, my bottle at all. 
So we're gonna see what we can do with this light layer and see if it's buildable, if, you know, if we need to add more or if we just do what we got. So for this side, I'm gonna take a brush and I just do stippling motions. I'm just gonna put it in the skin. It actually doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. I'm a shooketh. Shook, shook, shook. It is a very skin-like finish. I will say that. You can definitely see my skin through it. I do have a little bit of scarring that you can see right there. But I feel like if I just put a little bit more over those spots specifically, I feel like it would do it would be really well. So let's go ahead and try that. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead because I did not put any on there. So I'm just gonna put it right over top of my scarring. So this is how the side with the brush looks. Excuse the white on my face because that is the Sephora primer. It's a mattifying primer, so it sucks literally everything out of your skin and leaves a little white cast. But now we're gonna go in with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge side. I feel like for three dollars is definitely finessable and we can work it to what we got let's let's hope so at least I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna get too ahead of myself we look on the makeup sponge side so this is the side with the um foundation brush and this is the side minus these two <laughs> this is the side with the makeup sponge so if you made it this far in the video let me know which side you like better off rip or do you like them both the same i feel like i like them both the same i'm going to do my eyes go about my day come back and i'm going to tell you my final thoughts on this foundation all right, you guys, and I'm back. I have went shopping. I went out to eat, even though I wasn't supposed to. I ran my little errands. And now I'm about to tell you how this foundation held up. So as you can see, I'm actually not too mad at it at all. The only shininess that you're really seeing is from the highlighter, which I'm not mad at that. My skin feels like skin it really sunk into my face and i don't feel icky or i feel like i want to wipe my makeup off like honestly i could go a few more hours wearing this and it is 11 o'clock and i put this on i started filming around 2 30 so that's about nine hours aware and we still look like this like everything right now is just i'm not mad at it at all i did touch my lip up a little bit put some gloss on and fix my eyes before i came on camera because you know we got to take our pictures but all in all i feel like the shade really worked out after a few hours of wear it really set in and it's not looking caskety it actually really matches and for three dollars for three dollars I'm not mad at it at all. But if you are darker than me, this foundation, it just doesn't come in your shade. So you can't even try it out. All right, we all live in post Fenty and you only got 12 shades. Granted, they 
they do focus more on the dark category. They could go deep dark, but for dark, they made sure that they covered their bases. All in all, that's all I really have to say about this foundation for $3. I feel like it's really worth the price. So if they have your shade to try out, please, 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 please go try it. It is hot, girl, summer approved. I live in Virginia, it is hot. It is hot. It was like 87 degrees today. And go ahead and try it out. Please, 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 please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, share it with your friends. If you are looking for beauty on a budget and you want me to do a series of affordable brands, I will do that. Just let me know what you like. This, this eye look I whipped together, but I love it. This blue eyeliner is really just giving me my whole life so if you want a tutorial on this look let me know like whatever you want to see on this channel let your girl know because i'm all for the people i'm for the people so um thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video please come back okay if you haven't seen any of my other videos watch those videos because your girl gets down thank you so much and i will see you in my next one Bye bye